This episode of the podcast is brought to you by Gamefly. That's right, we got another sponsor. Gamefly has over 8,000 new releases of classes available for pretty much every single console available. This is basically the best deal if you're a gamer on a budget. For a, a low monthly fee, they will send you a game basically to rent, and then when you're done playing it, you send it back and they'll send you another one, whatever's on your list. And there's never any late fees as long as you're obviously paying for the service. So it works out pretty great. You can also get Blu-rays and DVDs on there as well. So I would highly recommend it if you play one game at a time. And I think they also have other types of deals where you can get more than one at a time. So it's pretty sweet. And if you go to GameflyOffer.com forward slash be then BTI, you will get a free 30 day trial. So it's pretty sweet. You get to try it for free. So once again, it's a GameflyOffer.com forward slash be then BTI. And now on with the show. Hey, what's up, folks? It's your boy Blue here from the Bafota Cast. We're back again. Rolling. What up, what up, what up? I'm back up in this bitch. Yes. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Yeah. At least it doesn't hurt. That's it's good. Fucking be an old man and shit. Yeah, man. Doing all uh, doing all them Spartan races last year. Probably Fuck fucked your shit up. Man. Um, no. But it's February. Uh, we got a whole lot to get into again. Mm hmm. Plenty of fucking TV, plenty of comics. It's always so funny. I'm always like, man, do we have enough fucking topics? But then, like, a few days before podcast day, fucking crazy shit happens. Yep. That we got to talk about. Hell the fuck yeah. Y'all held it down last week. I couldn't couldn't join in. But uh, it's just going to be great to be fucking back, man. You got vac- vaccinated, right? For whatever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All her- my STDs. and shit you had. All my <laughs> STDs, man. Uh, shit, the other thing that I'm really looking forward to, and I know we'll talk about it a little bit, I'm definitely going to go see this goddamn Batman Lego movie. Man, I'm, I'm so fucking excited about this goddamn Lego cartoon book movie thingy. <laughs> yeah, it... Did you watch uh, any of the CW shows this week? Uh, I'm behind. I'm so, behind, so no. So all of the commercial breaks... So they had like Lego Batman, right? But then they had all of the just or all of the CW Arrowverse characters mm-hmm. as Lego pieces. Nice. So like Batman, Lego Batman would interact with them with them and shit. And they actually had the voices of the characters. That's great. So like um, the girl Felicity. who just Felicity, sure. but they didn't have Felicity. They had like Arrow, uh, Flash, and Supergirl. But they nice. had those act- the actual actors doing the voices. But man, it was so fucking funny. And then like at the end, like the company who makes the CW shows. Um, like there's like a there's like a guy that tells his kid to move his head. Yeah. But they say Batman, move your head. His head is blocking the TV. And he's like, oh, sorry. And he like gets up to <laughs> the It was so fucking funny. Yeah, I mean Batman needs you know a, a straight comedy, kids comedy. You know. Yeah. And and I'm glad it's gonna be in theaters. It'd be fine if it was on TV too. But yeah, it's cool to have it in th- in theaters. Uh, and I think it's it's literally gonna be one of the best. Animated, I guess you would still call it animated. Yeah, I think it, it's. It, I mean, technically, it is animated. It's not actually just just the, the Legos. Legos. Yeah. yeah. So stop animation. It's what they usually would have done. Uh, I'm gonna say right now, even though it's super early in 2017, it's probably gonna be one of the best animated movies of this year, yeah. and one of the better like just comedies. Period. I'm I'm hoping it does better than uh, the Lego Movie. The Lego yeah. Movie did really well. And yeah. I'm, I I don't imagine it's won't do well. Yep. So that's big shit coming. I think it drops tomorrow or something, right? Yeah, yeah, it comes on Friday. So, yeah. Um, What's cool with the Lego um, franchise is that the video games are doing really well, too. Like, the Batman video games are really good. Yep. And the Batman Lego movie, or the Batman Lego game, the second one, was the first time that the Lego character spoke. Yeah. They actually have words, so that was kind of cool. It, it's it's fun. I mean, like, it's an, it, a nice introduction to quote-unquote hardcore gaming for, like, kids, you know what I mean? Or even just casual folks. Yeah. It's it's, it's user-friendly, kind of like the Telltale games are and whatnot. But um, whatever gets you playing, I don't, you know, whatever works for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I have no shame with playing some Telltale games because I love the story, mm-hmm. you know? And I played a few Lego games and enjoyed them. So. Oh, yeah, I played all the Batman Lego. Uh, the first Batman Lego was the first one I ever... I didn't platinum on it. I got... Um, 100% because I was on Xbox, so I oh, unlocked okay. all the achievements for it. Gotcha. Yeah. That was my first game that I did that, and I was yeah. so fucking happy. It, it's a great sense of uh, completion, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And then, uh, sticking with gaming, and I know we'll talk about this a little bit, I went ahead and pre-ordered uh, 
Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, she did? Yeah, I only put like, I don't know, $10 down or something on it at GameStop because I had like a gift certificate. Otherwise, I'd go with Amazon because it's a little bit cheaper. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I hope it lives up to the hype. I really do. When does it come out, you know? Uh, it's like the last week of February. Oh, shit, it's also so, soon. -ish. Yeah, I mean, it's a super busy time, man, because they're going to have that. They're going to have that. Another... Um, Kind of like Rainbow Six, the Wild Dogs oh, one yeah, or yeah. Wildlands or whatever, uh, and then Mass Effect, you know, and in between all that, that uh, Nintendo new Nintendo comes out too. Oh yeah, that comes out like soonish. Yeah, so March, you know, late February, March. That's it's yeah. gonna be a hugely busy time for gaming. Um, yeah, you know, and I still I've got to play Call of Duty. I never even picked it up, so I'm not missing that. Yeah, I've been, I haven't heard anything much about this Call of Duty game. So... Because it's supposed to be the futuristic one, right? Where it's like you're yeah, in space and stuff. Well, it came as a combo. So you have, obviously, Infinite Warfare is a futuristic kind of shit. And then you it came with um, Modern Warfare Remastered, too. Mm. So you could kind of get the best of both worlds, from what I hear. Yeah, yeah. The reviews weren't crazy, and I don't think the sales were anywhere close to where they were last year for Black Ops 3. But, you know, Call of Duty still Call of Duty, man. You know, See, that's a Greek franchise. Oh, yeah. But, like, I like how Carl said it. It's, now it's like a Madden game where every year it's pretty much the same game. It's just they throw a few extra things in there and... Definitely. Definitely. they're still a fun franchise. Yeah, they're not being overly creative most of the time. I think, yeah. you know, maybe going into space is the most creative that they've been in a while. But <laughs> at the end yeah. of the day... The whole purpose of video games isn't to please everybody, it's yeah. to sell games. Yeah. <laughs> so, For real. So you know, a few consoles sprinkled in there. And yeah. In there. So, you know, if, if people hate it so much, then why why is it the number one seller every year? Yeah, right. <laughs> so, I don't know. Gamers are funny like that. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, man. Um, you know something that's fucking blowing my mind right now? So, somebody posted up on Facebook this meme that said, like, uh, growing up black myths or something like that mm -hmm. and like one of the myths is that having your dome light in your car is illegal yeah and for the longest time I always thought that shit was real like it was illegal and I actually fucking looked that shit up and now it's it's not e it's not illegal to have yeah. a dome light on no it's just it's some shit crazy. your mama told you as a little yeah, kid get, get you to shut the fuck up yep <laughs> to turn the light off so she can drive or whatever yeah it's distracting sometimes yeah but... I mean it definitely is distracting but that's it. But yeah, it's 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 so funny because so many people in the comments are saying like, "Wait, that's not fucking. That's not a law. I thought it was like everybody's growing up that way, which is really that's fucking funny." Hilarious, man. Yeah, dude. It's funny what you uh, you don't question as a little kid. Yeah, right. You certainly look things up as an adult. And most people don't even bother to look shit up. They just fucking accept shit as true, and then exactly. keep I know. Fucking moving. There was one time my mom told me that um, trains don't go backwards. Like, they always go, in, they only can go in one direction. And I believed that for, like, the longest time until, like, I came in a door and fucking looked that shit up. It was like, trains can go backwards. They have fucking gears and stuff so they can go in reverse. I never gave that a second thought. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah. Because that's how they can, like, lock onto the, like, caboose or whatever. Or whatever. Yeah, makes sense, I guess, you know. They can't go very fast in reverse, but, yeah. Most cars can't go very fast in yeah, reverse right. either. But, yeah, man, I'm, uh, I'm fucking just... I'm ready for some serious, serious thing. We got to talk a little bit about the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I, I want to record with Stitch maybe, I don't know, later on this weekend about that. Yeah, there was a lot of trailers that got released this week, too, especially that that Stranger Thing 2 trailer. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I, you know I'm going to watch that, like, the yeah. opening week, because it hit everybody by surprise last year. Yeah. Uh, the other big one that, for whatever reason, people want to make it controversial, but I still don't think it is. Is like the Iron Fist uh, uh, trailer dropped, and it looks good. I oh, mean, man, it looks I'm yet. yeah. Well, maybe we'll watch it just before the cast, but it it looks solid. It looks like another good Netflix Marvel so show, you know. Yeah. Um, and I don't, yeah, I just don't know how you can like per se hate on that, you know. Dude, Marvel's got, I mean, Netflix and Marvel, their their shows are really good, but Netflix have, like, a really good amount of hidden gems on their on their channel. They got some bad ones. There's a few I actually went and tried to watch. I'm like, I can't do this. This is bad in all kind of ways. Yeah, but not, not everything's going to be perfect. But yeah. They they have more hits than misses. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. And, so, and the, the funny thing is I forget about them. Unless people are talking about them, like, constantly, 
it's hard to remember what they have on there or unless you're searching too yeah that's right and they they throw suggestions in there and like i'll check them out but mm, sometimes they're not well and i want to get up, get into this a little bit more on the main cast i think netflix and amazon probably do the best job that i know of of like recommending stuff you oh, know yeah. based on the things that you like i really really wish crunchyroll would adapt to some of that and literally at uh, the anime awards party that i went to mm -hmm. old ninja should have mentioned this but he forgot um I, I went up to a few like tech folks uh that work for crunchyroll and i was just like hey y'all need some goddamn categories you know yeah what I mean? yeah there's nothing to separate like that. horror from etchy or or comedy mm -hmm. or flying panties okay. you don't know what the fuck you're watching sci-fi ish you, you have no clue what you're watching unless you hear from a friend, oh, this anime is this kind of anime. Yeah. You know what I mean? And there's no way to, like, say, oh, this is three out of five, five out of five. Yeah, you can't rate them, too. There's nothing like yeah. that on, on Crunchyroll. And for it to be such a great app, you know, with so much content. That's true. I never, like, I I knew there was something missing about Crunchyroll, but it never really kind of mattered because I just, you know, yeah, find you anime it. I wanted to watch and just watch it. Yeah. Like, but, but yeah, that does make fucking sense. You 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 got to add that. I don't know when they'll be able to. I don't know their financial status, but holy shit, is that necessary? You yeah. know. Um, but uh, yeah, and then I was gonna say uh, flying I'm a, panties. <laughs> man, it was so good. That was a heaven sauce property. Yeah. If, if you haven't seen the anime, you can need to watch it. It's it's so fucking hilarious and yep. fan service like a mug. It was just one of those hidden kind of animes on Netflix. Actually. Yeah, yeah, it was on Netflix, which was great. Yeah, and it just, you stumble upon it, or I got recommended it and watched it and fucking loved it. Yeah. So, um, I'm just trying to catch up on shit, man. So much good TV on. I still have to try uh, Taboo. I, I, and that's a Tom Hardy show. Oh, shit. And then Legion, an X-Men oh, yeah, spinoff show, comes on tonight, too. Yeah, I watched uh, APB last night. What is APB? Um, that's the one where this rich guy takes over a police station because something happened. Or his friend dies. Oh. So he's he's like a, a genius agent. He's like Tony Stark. Wow. He's like Tony Stark, but he takes over this company or this police station and upgrades them with, like, the newest tech and stuff like that. Wow. And it was it was good. Um, we'll probably talk about it more on the cast because I think uh, Cronus watched it as well. But um, it, was, it had a good first episode, and okay. it's got me hooked to keep watching to see how we how we go. Is it on, is it on TV? Uh, or it's on Fox. Fox. Okay, all right. It's on Fox. Uh, yeah, it's on Fox. All right. It took over the spot for. Well, right now Gotham is kind of on hiatus. Hiatus, not hiatus, but on break, whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of filling in that gap for for Gotham. Okay. Which makes me mad because Gotham ended fucking good as hell last week. That's what I heard with like <laughs> Joker fucking drone. drone. Yeah. yeah, holy shit. But, Did uh, you ever catch up on the expanse or no? Uh, I watched half of the first episode. Okay. Or because it was a two parter, they put two episodes together. Okay. All right, folks, we're rolling up into the Infinity Base. Um, if you like what you if you like what you liked and you like what you saw. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to smash that like and subscribe button. Uh, definitely check out the videos down below. Check out tonight's podcast and the React video and some other stuff that's down there. Uh, but until next time, peace out, motherfuckers. <laughs>